hello we are having some fun audio moments currently as we try and figure out what the hell is going on uh claire can you try talking for me hi am i available to the audience i believe so i am yes i just double checked you're a bit quiet though am i a bit quiet huh you are well, yeah well i maxed out so i don't know how to fix that uh hmm. hmm that's a tough situation claire say some stuff i'm gonna take a bite of food okay well tonight we're gonna uh, live under daddy malkovich's rule because he's definitely a traitor and uh we're gonna kill him you think that's how this game ends by killing uh Adam Malkovich? I, I think the game ends by Samus realizing that she is in uh, could be a smidge lower. Okay, cool. Um, I think this game ends with Samus realizing that she, Adam is um, that's probably true. I'm probably uh, the way the audio that I was hearing for myself is probably peaking a bit. Um, she's gonna uh, realize she's in love with Adam. She's gonna be like, no, I can't do it. Uh, and then something else is gonna kill Adam. I'm just saying. But you think Adam's dead at the end of this game? I think Adam is dead, but I think it's like, oh, Samus would so never tragic. taint herself by killing a traitorous man who killed all of her friends. Claire, I, I don't think they're gonna give a Samus taint in this game. <laughs> Band. <laughs> All right. Uh, now let's see. Is my game working? It appears. Is it? I mean, I can see it. Well, it is working, but I'm pressing some buttons on the Wii mote, and uh, it is saying please press two, and I am trying to press two currently. How's that going? I'm turning it off and on again. The classic fix. Well, there we go. Theoretically, that should work now. Theoretically. My favorite kind it's of working. It's working. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to take little bites of my noodles while this tells us. As she working. moves through Sector 3, Samus encounters Anthony as he's being attacked by a group of creatures. Anthony and the other soldiers had received an order from Adam to restore functionality to the geothermal pile power plant. Samus parts ways with Anthony and continues to search Sector 3 for the monsters she track it. she's tracking. <laughs> Samus then receives an order from Adam to head for the geothermal power plant. Which is not suspicious at all, don't worry about it. You say that like Adam's gonna a... betray us or something. No, it's definitely Anthony who has the same character model as everybody else. For and... sure, for sure. It would be really hard to pick out of a crowd. Here's here's the thing. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where the fuck am I? Am I? <laughs> okay, that's where I am. Okay. I love being the one who edits this because I can always be like, I remember what we did because I looked at this like an hour ago, uh, and then it's like, uh, wait, what are we doing? Yeah. So do you remember the worm? I don't know if it's a worm. It had big teeth that tried to eat you. It was lava. Yeah, that guy was cool. Yeah, that's the last thing we did. Oh, good. More test floors. Finally. So I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> oh, you said you wanted more worms, right? Oh, I was really thinking we were missing out on worms. Like, we're in a desert, so there has to be worms. Is this Dune? It, what, what, Dune what, right? what? It just went backwards. Oh, you know, that's just what worms do. Oh, Haven't you okay. seen Dune, Claire? Uh, no. Well, I haven't either, but everyone tells me there's worms. I have it on good authority that there is at least one worm in the Dune. If I'm honest, I, I kind of think there might be more than one worm in Dune. And I did say at least. How much how much spice is there in Dune? A planet's worth. Right? 
That seems right to me. Oh, more fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. The worm said it's more than one. Well, so I am. I do need to admit something with you, which is that I'm I'm running low on candles, and so I've had to reuse some candles. And I think I'm realizing why you don't reuse candles. Mhm. Mm um, the worms don't like it. So let's hope I don't have to use my targeting too much in this first like hour or whatever. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't think I will. Remind me why the sensor bar uh, doesn't work with our 30 Wii's. Well, we only have three of them, and actually none of them have a sensor bar. I see. So if you were to acquire a sensor bar, this would be fixed. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. This will be fixed as of tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's definitely not because every time it connects to a sensor bar... It connects to one of our Wii's um, <laughs> instead of the other Wii that we're playing it on. That's the actual reason. Um, what the fuck is it trying to tell me I can get to? What am I uh -huh. supposed to... What am I missing here? I think there's a ledge. I think so, like too, but it doesn't let me grab it. The other way, like the perpendicular, if you, you gotta go. Oh, okay. Wait, which right? way? Because if you... Like, if you go at it the perpendicular way as you are now. Yes, that's the only way it lets me go at it. No, I mean, wait, like, you can't walk? Nope. Okay. There's nothing I can do. This is, I cannot control her except to get her off of here. Okay, what if you do it from the ground? From the ground? Yes. From, like, like do go what? down, 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 now do it. From here, it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Watch this. Yeah. I don't know. Because, because this thing, as you can see, there's two lights, and one light yeah. communicates. Maybe you have to turn it. Maybe. Hey, how do I turn this guy? Uh, can you get up the ledge on the left? Oh, that also works. Remember, as we uh, realized last time, when in doubt, shoot it. If, yeah, if you can, if you can interact with it, you shoot it. That's how it works. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, God. I need new candles. Um. Okay. More. More Which gun. way, am I supposed to go? I think you have to go left. Yeah. I think you hit it one more time, and then you're going to be able to get to your left. Hit it, baby, one more time. Uh, the verbs do be shoot, scan, jump. True. So true. In that order. In that order. And run fast. Yeah. Less so, but yes. Maybe I'll try and have well, some candles on the break. Run slow, but feel... Pretend you're going fast. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hack some candles on the break. You're going to hack some candles? Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't you like to do with that? a hacker. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. Uh... Okay, I see. Oh, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. That's I'm, what I'm always saying. I hope you're excited to turn it again. Because you have to. Mm hmm It heard me say... I would rather not do targeting stuff right now. And said, targeting stuff? More targeting stuff? Hearing many people say targeting stuff. Um, I will say I feel like it would have been faster to go the other rotation, like to but it's it's too late now. I okay, I mean at this point I am wrong. Claire, I I think you're just being you know a little bit of a, I think uh -huh. you're just being a little bit negative here. A little, <laughs> like a negative rotation. Yeah. Whatever that means. <laughs> Wait, is that how that you determine what is one way and the other way? So I was just called that clockwise. <laughs> well, it depends what you're talking about. Uh, now, I know there's like a bag of tea lights, but what if uh, you got those tall taper candles so you just have slowly lowering sensor bar 
instead of slowly disappearing sensor bar. So we actually do have some of those candles, but I, I, I think we, but we use them for actual candle purposes, because we want our house to have just like a little bit of a, you know, this is a, a gothic castle vibe. Um, okay. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is you need more candles. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Help help me balance my budget. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now don't worry, I'm just gonna hack the candles and it'll be fine. I see. Someone should have told Drill that. Yeah, just hack your candles. Like it's hard? Oh fuck you. Now my main worry at this point is that my Wiimote is starting to have the buttons go down and not come back up because I have Ooh. a little sticker on the Wiimote. So if ever something goes wrong, we can just blame that instead of my sure. player. Uh, wait, you don't just have like a box of paper candles labeled emergency candles in the back of a drawer somewhere? I actually have no idea where my My parents is. always had that growing up, but we do not because we don't really, because if we I have candles, we're gonna use Actually, do you even need a flashlight? There are phones now. Yeah, well, no, because eventually your phone is going to run out of uh, energy and a power outage. That's true. Eventually the candle will run out of energy, too. But I guess... Yeah, way... but I the phone has other purposes. Mm, I wouldn't want to use my phone's whole battery as a flashlight. Tell, tell towers. Cell towers, wow, uh, don't necessarily go down. Uh, yeah, I grew up in a house that had frequent power outages. I have distinct memories of playing Game Boy by candlelight. Hell fucking yeah. We had we had some, some regular power outages, I would say. What is gaming in the, like, 90s, early 2000s, if not playing Game Boy in the car using the street lights that come by every, like, five seconds to play the video game? That's so true. You're so right. Unless you had one of those things that... Gener like, like the lights, like a fucking reading light uh, that drained your battery. I do think the, the, the one thing there is usually it would be... Who could I've... have seen that coming? <laughs> uh-huh. If I had my Game Boy, though, uh, I, I usually wasn't supposed to be playing my Game Boy in the car, unless it was, like, on mm -hmm. a long ride. Um, I don't know why... That was like a thing or a rule. That was a thing in my house where it was like kind of, you know, if it was a long drive, I would bring my Game Boy. Otherwise, I don't need my Game Boy. Mm. We didn't, and we didn't take too many long drives. Can I get in? I Let me in. Let me in. No. Let me in. Let I think in. you gotta go in. up. Let me in. Up or down. Ugh. There's like so many other levels you could go to. Ugh, you're so right. Is so there which though? one are you gonna do? I, I mean, feel like if you could go up further, I feel like there's I maybe like disagree. a secret if you go you up actually, further. I don't really. think you can actually grab that. Like, it's like, the, like an invisible wall. I think if you like time it, like if you do, you think I can grab around, that upper? I don't think I can grab that upper. I don't think you can grab it, but I think you can jump off of it. Like I think sure. you got to do a few successive jumps. No, nope, you cannot jump off of it. Um, if you're me, you're also on the uh, Coca-Cola and trying to stay awake until you get to the bit with the toll booth so you can play the Game Boy by the streetlights near the toll booth. I don't remember the toll booth. I admittedly did not go on the Coca-Cola very I don't. I'm not convinced I've ever up. been on the Coca-Cola. What? Have you never driven to, like, Kelowna or... No. I've never oh. been past Hope. Wow, okay, yeah, I know you have not been on the Coca-Cola. Or maybe I've gone to, like, Manning Park or something sometimes, but I don't think that's... Like, Manning Park or some of the other parks. Yeah, I've never... I don't know if it's between uh, Kelowna and Hope. I don't know it. Uh, I know beyond Kelowna, and I know before Hope. Uh, other than that, it's just Coca-Cola in my brain. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been on the Coca-Cola. Uh, have you never gone north out of Hope? Oh, yeah. Ma Manning Park is on the three. Yeah, so I don't think I've ever been... Maybe we went on it once for a specific place we wanted to go camping or something. But other... if not that, then I have not been. 
Yeah, I From don't. From Hope, it's I North from the Coca-Cola and West of the Number Three. Crow's Nest. That sounds familiar. Maybe I've been on it once. I'm trying to remember. I feel like there's a certain energy. Well, a you would never be on the Coca-Cola during winter unless you were with like a really confident no, driver um, who had snow tires and grew up in Saskatchewan or something like my father. Um, <laughs> now, my grandparents grew up uh, in Saskatchewan. My mom did not, so she would never. She was not yeah. huge on driving, and my dad. She would have been confident enough in my dad to drive, and my dad probably wouldn't have wanted to drive on the Coca Cola in winter. I mean, does anyone really want to? Yeah, you're so right. I mean, it'd be fun. You know, would I've it? always kind of wanted to do stunt driving. That's so on brand for you in the weirdest way. <laughs> Like, yeah. Why? If I heard that you pivoted into, like, <laughs> doing stunt driving, I'd be like, all right, sure. Damn, all right. That's career, meant to be a, a good thing, to be clear. Yeah, I got that. I mean, <laughs> uh, I love that shit. I am that guy, give me winter tires. Yeah, right? Like, I don't know. It's like, give, give me the equipment and I'll do it. Like, I'll try it. Yeah. Uh, um, Claire, me too. I'm Claire, so me into, too. Like... I'm so into like let me do the sick tricks in the car ballet car uh, car commercials. Are there? Car I don't. I don't see car commercials anymore. Uh, but I'm sure. I do. But then again, old car commercials also did that. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, that would be great. I feel like. I feel like I don't know if car commercials. Did car commercials ever have pizzazz? Because they sure don't have pizzazz anymore. Um, I feel like there were a few car commercials. Like, I don't have any off the top of my head. They're all forgettable. But, like, they're they're also all, like, the same. Yeah. Um, except for, like, there's one or two that, like, you don't know they're a car commercial until the last, like, two seconds. And then it's, like... That's what Bringing all families together. Like, yeah, 100%. Oh, uh, yeah, the old commercials with the J-slide into a parking spot or, like, six cars weaving around each other. That actually rules. Yeah, that, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, I would love to do that. Or even just, like, I don't know, movie stunt driving. That'd be I really think, fun. I think car commercials, I think car commercials peaked when, I, I know this wasn't, like, on TV commercials. I think car advertising peaked when Subaru was like, yeah, let's be the gay car. I don't think any car Sorry, commercial. Sorry, what? You know, the Subaru. You know about this, right, Claire? That Subaru is the gay car? Oh, my God, Claire, you don't know this. Oh, in the okay. 80s and 90s, I think in the 90s, Subaru um, found out that a lot of the people who drove their cars were outdoorsy lesbians. And so they decided to specifically do a marketing campaign that was like thinly veiled, uh, like talking about talking to lesbians, basically like slogans like and this is That's like me thinly like, veiled talking to lesbians <laughs> like like get out and stay out, for example, like like referring to outdoorsiness, but also like very you know heavily talking about coming out and stuff like that and and things like that they did this whole campaign that was marketing to lesbians which is how subaru in the 90s and 2000s became known as the kind of the lesbian car um yeah okay. specifically there is a, a plot in the l word um that is about this one of the characters um, oh, that's great. Is like a tennis player who gets involved in that marketing campaign, and that's how she ends up having to come out to her Republican parents. Um, Some Sometimes I hear things about the L word that makes me want to watch don't it. Don't do then it, someone, Claire. It's I know, so and then someone bad. immediately follows it's up so with that. It's so bad, but also maybe you should watch it. But also don't do that to yourself. There's so many other things. I have no Where time. The f how the fuck do I get through here, Claire? I don't know. Um... Um, What's your map look like? It's a circle. Mm, okay, so you definitely like it's definitely like this way for some reason. Uh, in theory, I know how to do a J slide, but I've never, uh, but never have I executed one. 
and like the straights couldn't tell but obvious to lesbians i also feel like i theoretically know how to do a j slide okay i'm gonna describe how i think one would do a j slide and you tell me if this is like a what you think and also be correct <laughs> um which is like as you're driving i don't even know um, what a j slide is so i'm so excited to find out I am a, I like, I'm just going off of, like, I don't know if this is the actual word, but I'm going off of the imagine of, like, the slide that looks like a J, where uh, the, the car, like, turns around and, like, does a 180 and, like, stops. Right? No? Uh, yeah, drift a 180 into a J shape. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, like, the way that I would imagine you do it um is you'd have to like probably like be going fast brake but not fully with the brakes while turning and then emergency brake the last bit so that your front wheels stay in place and your back wheel so like you have the momentum on the back wheels from the turn um yeah a really tight one preferably in the car commercials they do it uh on city streets and to a parallel bark which i know you meant park but i am it's a parallel bark now um and there were dogs driving it uh, anyways um, end of thought i'm gonna turn on a light yeah i'm having some i can't i no longer can do the targeting oh wait this yes i can no but not well though hmm um, maybe I'll try doing candle crimes currently. Candle crimes? Candle crimes, hang on. Uh, I'm kind of close. Okay, how would one do a J slide? What is, what is the, what is the technique? Welcome, welcome to the stunt, uh, car stunt corner. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly open up the Metroid Other M walkthrough. <laughs> Just in case we need it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's see. Um, we have done this part, I think. Wow, there's so many things that we have done. I'm realizing that I've made a poor decision because the wick What's up? the wick is not going to recover. Hmm. Um, hmm. How do I do this? What's like the smartest way to do this? Maybe I'll do it with these ones. Okay, hang on. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, bye. So in the meantime, what other car tricks would you do? Besides the J, J, uh, J turn or J slide. We're like pretty far into this game, I will say. Okay, okay, okay. We've done this? No, we haven't done this. Oh, okay. I see. Huh. Interesting. Very ominous, I know. Um, we're definitely more than halfway through this game. I, it's not about rear wheels momentum. It's about shifting weight from side to side. That makes sense. From side to side. So you're going fast. I think it's like minimum 60 kilometers an hour in, an hour in, uh, in dry conditions, 50 in wet. Might be 70, 60. Uh, you do a little jerk on the wheel to the direction you're not going to turn. Yep. Um, to shift the weight that you're not going to turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you are turn it that way so that it... Yeah, uh-huh. I see what you're saying. Um, uh, especially the front because engine heavy and all that. Yeah, I think you're kind of like using that the engine is heavy. Like you're relying on that a bit. Because um, you're using the engine as like a pivot point. Um, at least that's what I think of it as. 
um, in that direction. Then you wrench it the other way and pull the e-brake. Oh, the other way. That's what I'm missing. Okay. So, yeah, why would you do that? You'd go, oh, right. Oh, hi, Nay. Uh, first you I'm go back, that way. I'm by the way. I uh, hi. think I've worked out a better system. Excellent. Uh, the momentum swing is part of what breaks traction on the rear wheels for the drift part. Hi, okay. What's now that? I'm just, like, thinking about how that would work physics-wise. Well, that's a problem. Does not seem to like the tall candles. Oh. Well, that's mean. Uh, like turning right, you do the jerk left and then wrench right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That may, that, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I didn't think about like jerking back the other way, but that makes sense because you'd need the wheels to like, um, uh, not be going sideways to like reduce friction. I assume. Uh, back in another moment. Okay. We just got May. She's been very attached to me, um, since I'm, like, out of the house going to classes. Uh, honestly, I'm mostly into driving backwards really, really well, like, around a sl slalom and drift and shit. Um, I mean, I would, yeah. I, I feel like driving backwards is... Definitely, like, the easier trick. Um, not to be, like, this newfangled technology, but I actually dislike uh, uh, the backing up cameras on new cars. Like, I think it makes people rely on them too much, and then people don't check their peripheries, and that feels more dangerous to me than just looking in your mirror and, like, checking three mirrors in, like, half a second. Uh, what tricks would you do, Claire? Um, like, driving backwards specifically? I mean, I think it would be fun to do, like, a J-turn from going backwards uh, to turn going straight, go back into, like, drive and keep going. Like, I've... Uh, so, one of my favorite games that I have not played in a long time, and, like, it's one of those games that I can just pick up, play for five minutes, and, like, put it down, which is, like, what I need right now, is Rocket League. Um, and it's just zoom, zoom, car, go fast, uh, hit ball with car. Uh, the physics make no sense. You can drive on walls and whatnot. But, like, that literally is one of the things I've been practicing uh, with, like, okay, I'm driving backwards. I want to drift. Or, like, you know, in, in the video game, it has jumps, too. So, like, um, I feel like normally you would just jump and flip and go backwards. But... Um, I really like the idea of um, driving backwards, drifting, and then um, continuing to go from a J slide. Um, and I want to do that in real life. I just think I should be allowed to do that in real life. Do more car tricks. Right yeah, now. Yeah, right I just now. do them right, right now. now. All right. I'm um, doing them. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Pretty I'm doing. I'm tricks. doing them in my in my mind's eye. Or whatever. <laughs> you know, I ended up watching uh, that Scott Pilgrim animated. Sorry, just thinking about mind's eye or whatever. Thinking about Scott Pilgrim because that's like a cool <laughs> movie. Yeah, I I did watch that when it came out. I have mixed feelings. Interesting. Uh, Fun says my car has a backup cam and i mostly use it to check for pedestrians before moving yeah and distance to objects at my rear while parking it's kind of just like so you have an easier time checking mirrors going from the camera instead of whipping your head around from looking through uh the back to get to the side view mirrors i feel like just like just turn around just turn around like i say that like uh, it, I have, obviously it's a useful thing for a lot of people, but like for me, for myself, it's like, I feel like I trust it less than just turning around because like, there's still spots that it can't see. There's still like a range of angles. Um, but I do think like checking it before moving or even like, 
if you like can't see like if you're in a parking spot and you can't see what's coming because there's a car beside you i imagine that would probably like if there's like a wide enough angle you could uh, probably be helpful um i'm thinking about the like uh parkade that i park in when i go to school um oh i also have like a really good curved mirror guy that lets me see blind spots on my ceiling mirror guy curved mirror guy it's just a cur is that just a cur curved mirror uh i still check blind spots myself but while in a busy parking lot it's great yeah that makes sense okay i yeah. believe i've effectively yeah there we go so what i've done wow. is all of the the reason that the candles were getting low is because they have like a foil like thing on the outside of the like tea light candles you know they have like a foil coating not coating but, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. whatever um shell and so i've trimmed the shell back basically so that it's still yeah they live in a little cup i've trimmed the cup uh so now there's only one more problem mm -hmm. what the fuck do i do uh, you gotta go back. You gotta unlock that door. Of course I fucking do. Because it's not enough to have to go and unlock one door. You gotta unlock two doors. There Fuck were it. other platforms to uh, uh, discover. Just, you know. Yeah. Uh, they live in a little cup, yes. I understand that sentence. But the, um, the candles. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want context. I want to live in my own little world. Fair enough. <laughs> so accepting. Um, did you do anything in this room? What What did you do in this room? I turned. What have on you done in this a, room? A, like console. Okay. Yep, right up there. It's up there. Cool. No secret sound there. Uh, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, you good? Sorry, this guide is not the most, like, intuitive to navigate. It's split up in, like, a billion different pages. Uh, Fen says, I learned to drive a car and a ski boat at the same time. Like, I don't know, six, eight. And a ski boat's turning power is in the rear as opposed to car front. So it's like driving a car backwards and thus my love of the backwards driving. This makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I think, uh, I think I've uh, given it a good shot. But uh, I think this is the end of Metroid Other M. Uh, I think this is just the ending. Come on. This is just the ending? Yeah, I think this is just the ending. Sorry that we didn't get closer okay. for everything, but it's just impossible to progress past here. So that has to be the ending. I see. That would be truly cruel to do. Imagine being... Okay. Imagine designing a game <laughs> where it ends just because the thing, the challenge that it gives you, it is impossible to do. Oh, you mean like if that was the intention of the game? Yes, developers. that's the intention. Like that would, they that wanted would, that. That, that was would the be goal. wild. Like they've developed a whole story past it, you just can never get to it. Yeah. Huh. Uh, this is how the game ends. They shipped it like this. Oh, there's that platform on the other side, huh? Okay. Mhm. Mm Wait, isn't that just the platform I was on? That was the platform I was on. Yeah, this platform I was on. Um, so then where the fuck are the other platforms? I know that this thing keeps going up, which means I need to probably keep going up it, but every time I try to jump on that, it doesn't let me. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm seeing... I feel like there's like a... How much grappling have you done in this room? There's grappling in this room? It would seem that way. Okay. Well, that gives me something to go off of. Hang on, let me let me get some places and try and look around and see where I can find me a grapple spot. I'm gonna read this more thoroughly, other than just looking at the like I think, shitty. I tiny think telling photos. me that there's grappling helps me 
figure out what's coming next. Okay. I mean, I think there's grappling. Also, yeah, I guess it makes sense to look up and see if there's actually anything up there. Yeah, let me try and go up, up. Up, up? Up, 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 up. How many turbines are there? Two? Two. Just like something up there. Okay. Already oh, have you done this? Yes, I've done that console. Oh, yeah. what did it do? It opened the door. Ah. Oh, the first okay. of the doors. But okay. And you've outside you've destroyed drones? Yep. Sure have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, oh, okay, yeah, you're figure, uh, go, go back to the thing, you were going the right way, like, uh, like, the thing you were running at, you're forgetting a mechanic. Okay. If I can get, fuck it, back up here. This, <laughs> these things are truly horrendous, there's a actively no way to control how they work. You have to hack the game files to get to the rest. That This gives me inscription vibes. What's um, inscription? Don't listen to anything I'm saying if you haven't played inscription. It's one of those games where you... Like, I'm not a spoilers person. Do not look up spoilers for inscription if you're ever going to play it. Look up um, spoilers for inscription rally. right now if I'm going to play it. You had it. No, that was not the way to go, though. So, no, I did not. Still not it. Unfortunately, I have to grip onto the wall and go round. I, I feel like you're getting a little greedy. You need to go one at a time. What do you mean, one at a time? It doesn't work if you go one at a time. Like, you're getting pushed that way. And you're running out. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, but this, might, this may not work. Yeah, but now you, now you just do it again when you're... No, but here. it may not work to do it again. Oh. But this time it did. That's good. That's nice okay. of it. It's, um, it sometimes does and sometimes doesn't because of the angles of the circle. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a perfect game. Okay, so I tried running at it at yeah, mock speed. Yeah, do that again. Tried doing it at mock speed. Didn't do anything. Yeah, what else can you do at mock uh, speed? Oh, right. Yeah. There you go. There, there we you go. go. I gotta remember that. I learned it last yeah. time. Got to It helps it. when you remember the mechanics, which, to be fair, I also forgot the mechanics. Um, Yay! But, oh, hell Another yeah. Another missile. We needed More that. More missiles. That's exactly what you wanted, right? Yeah. So, I currently... So, the one drawback of trimming the little cups is now I have two very allergy? short candles that are on a wooden uh -huh. thing. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's not worrying me at all. So, just note that down. Well, how thick is the wood? Eh, pretty thick. It's like an inch and a half. Wood doesn't catch fire like that easy. <laughs> also, yeah, plates exist. Uh, no, I was using plates, and then I got annoyed that we had so few plates left. So I said, fuck oh, it. okay. I'll put it right on the wood. I'll put the fire right on the wood, and nothing mm -hmm. bad will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, wood for real. Wood for real, it is a, a little shel shelf thing that Ash built for me out of wood. So, yeah. I still feel like if it's thick wood, it takes more than just like a little candle flame, unless you're like holding it there to like you want get me to the hold fire it there? started. You want me to hold yeah, it Yeah, I'd like you to actively try to burn the thing. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay, hang on, let me just do that. No. Oh shit. You're this busy. fucking guy! Wait, stay close to him. <laughs> stay close to him, and I'll. You be thought fine. you were done? Okay, right. Don't jump. Slam. Jump, suck. Jump, Come sucks. on and slam, and hit her into the ground. We know you liked this boss so much that we made it fly more. Uh huh. 
Um, so much flame to catch fire. Yes, it honestly, like, it's kind of annoying sometimes when you want something to catch on fire and it doesn't. Oh, yeah, 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 like firewood? Yes. I mean, you're doing good. Uh, yeah, as soon as I learned that you need to go cl up close to him, it got a lot easier. Delete that dude? Oh, delete? I don't know what happened. I think it got censored. What got censored there? D-E-L? Del. No Dells. Object. Oh, fuck off. Dot. I know, I got a tool tip. I don't know why it, it said no to your D. It was like, delete. No, I'll do that first. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Wow. Wow. All I don't right. know why it doesn't let me shoot it when, it, when I do that. <sighs> like, I, I came in with the perfectly, like, fully loaded. I tried to shoot, and it said no. So, kind of a weird thing. At least I can hit it when it dives. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wish they had health bars. Go, oh, God. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I know, this late in the game with tooltip, but I think I've gotten that tooltip before. It just wants you to know. So why are you fighting... Uh, so why are you fighting... Uh, Space Cuttlefish? Because God hates me, I think. And it, and God loves cuttlefish. Especially in space. I'm gonna get a t-shirt that just says God loves cuttlefish. So true. Claire, uh, I had a question for you. Okay. Have you been uh, watching Rebels again? Now that no, AMCA I have is not. Back on it. I have not been watching anything or playing anything. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Why? Well, because I love Rebels and I wanted to hear your thoughts because they're my special. I see. Warbos. I'm so sorry. That's fine. I'm so sorry. One more month, three weeks, and then I will have semi more time again and I will maybe watch a TV show and play a video game myself um, more than like once every three weeks uh, wait he wasn't even in the tube no he wasn't in, wasn't in the tube no he just came out of nowhere I don't want it to do that I don't know why it forces me to go on top. Again, I'm not choosing to jump up on it. It's doing that automatically. And again, I cannot hit it when it does that. Nice. Wow, get it. Blam. I do think the jumping is like weaker than the dodging just because I like, know, but sometimes it doesn't can't. dodge, Claire. I know. I'm I'm I was mostly observing that like when you land, there's no like like you can't uh you get um what is the word I'm looking for? Like you get stuck for a second when you land. That's true, yep. And I wish I could be in control of when I dodge. I wish there was a dodge button more than anything. Wonder if Dread has a dodge button. Damn, so close. Oh. Oh my god. That's what we call pure, unadulterated spike. 
They're launching so many fucking missiles at you. I think you should launch missiles back. Oh, that's a good call. Missiles didn't work on it before, but maybe they will now. Oh. Nope, still nope. didn't do anything. Sorry, I led you astray. It's okay. Oh, is it leaving? Nope. It's no. just firing them from farther away. Cool. It's also doing its I red eye I do feel eye like thing. now you probably need your missiles when it's in its red eye form. I think that's its weak spot. Yep. There we go. You were right. You were right. Woo! That was exciting. Nice. Good job. Jank. This is re this is real gaming. Yeah, this is this is what the real gamers do. Yeah. Claire, are you keeping an eye out on our time, by the way? Yes, I am. Cool. We successfully, uh, and by we, I mean you, but we successfully beat this boss before uh, we had to go to break. It's we. It's it's always, because, like, it's like how we beat Zelda 2. Oh, because it's the Nintendo Wii. I get it. No, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We would like to play. One of us is playing, but we're both playing. Do you know when the Wii was first coming out? Like, when it was, like, announced at E3, RIP E3? Um, I thought it was, like, a DVD player because of the remote. Did you? I thought, because, like, I didn't look that hard. I was like, okay, it's, like, a white DVD player. I'm, I'm Nintendo. Why am I going to want to watch your DVDs? Because, like, they've, like, tried multiple times with, like, do you remember the, like, you could buy... Nintendo DS cartridges that just had like a single episode of Pokemon on them. I do vaguely remember this, yeah. <laughs> so I thought this was, was it like a single them episode. Trying I never again. bought those. So was it a single episode? I think it was episode? like two or three. I think you got like two or three That's episodes. That's so funny. I know, I know. Why would they uh, it do takes, that? Uh, money. It takes two souls to carry such a great burden. That's so true. Um, I do. I always knew the Wii was a video game console, and the Wii was great. And also, it was the, in fact, the only console that everyone in my family fucking thought was great. Everyone in my family wow. liked the Wii. We all used it. Um, yeah, it was wild. What about the Switch? <laughs> no, I'm the only one with okay. a Switch. My family never got a Switch. My sister plays. Okay plays games like, oh no they do have a switch now i think or they might my sister may have gotten them to get a switch um but they didn't like the wii u they did not like anything i don't think they're in the in the minority on that one well yeah um but no yeah the wii was popular in my household now it was mostly by my you know sometimes used to play games that i morally disagree with now but such as wii fit um oh <laughs> but we all liked it there's a fucking item here somewhere claire i like the tennis game the that was always fun uh we sports you mean we all use it right right, right. sorry you mean uh it. the ten the only one that people played i guess uh the bowling was also i don't know the tennis Wait, was did, like the only did one you that ever I, only about. I beat the bowling I got 300 on a game in bowling. I love the good, fucking bowling. Good. Okay. I did not play those things for more than like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. That was like family game night. We would play that. We had family game night. See, my family didn't play games. <laughs> That's fair. My family did at one point decide, yeah, we're going to do a thing called family game nights. And wow. It's... Gotta improve family. Yeah. Well, you know, you know how, you know how it is. Um, I guess the whole point here is that you don't, in fact, know the same, because <laughs> you did not, in fact, have the same experience I did. Um. Oh, fuck you. Damn. I fucking hate this. Oh, okay. I can actually come down here. See, I thought this was going to be like a you can't come here type situation. Hello? I think it is. But, but there's an item somewhere, Claire. Oh, uh, okay. But there be an item somewhere. Uh huh. God damn it. Can't have shit. You. Can't have shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, no, we used to play uh, Wii Sports. That was our. Is one it? Of the things we okay, did. yeah, you saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know where to go. I'm, oh, I'm looking okay. for items, Claire. Okay. I want All more right. energy whatevers. 
Well, it was a good time to take a break. All right. Okay, we'll take a break then. You're back. Be. We will be right back. 